Good evening students. Uh, let us learn today a new topic uh, under your current electricity that is a cell EMF internal resistance of a cell and the terminal potential difference across the terminal of a cell that we will know here. Right? We will learn today cell internal resistance internal resistance of a cell EMF and terminal potential difference terminal potential difference so let us understand this concept one by one what is a cell cell is in layman's understanding you can say it is actually a battery cell is a battery in a layman's word so what a battery does a cell cell it maintains a constant potential difference across its end when it is connected in a circuit like suppose you have a resistor with you and you have a battery with you the purpose of this battery is to send a constant current flowing through this resistance R to maintain a constant current in a circuit, the cell has to provide a constant potential difference across the end of this resistance. So the purpose of a cell is to maintain a constant potential difference across its end. Means these two points, they are nothing but the end of a cell. These two this is called they are called terminals of a cell they are it is called negative terminal this is called positive terminal of a cell so if the cell is used in a circuit its job is to maintain a constant potential difference across the circuit so that a constant current will pass through the circuit then comes your internal resistance internal resistance is what the resistance see the current flows in the external circuit this i is flowing what in the diagram i have shown it flows in the external circuit also the current flows inside this cell inside this cell what cell is actually what there are different kinds of cell a simple cell consists of two electrodes and the two electrodes they are separated by one electrolyte what so inside that cell two electrodes were there one positive electrode and another negative electrode and they are dipped inside two electrolytes so when the current flows through the circuit means inside the cell the current flows in this direction because we know from the equation of continuity or charge won't accumulate inside the circuit so the current in the circuit is constant throughout that means throughout the current in a circuit is constant so it means inside the cell the current when the current flows the, ele the, the electrodes collectively with the electrolyte they oppose the flow of current uh, and that opposition offered by this cell the opposition offered by the cell to the flow of current inside in this circuit is called your internal resistance so whenever there will be a cell you remember there exists a small resistance like this here and that resistance is termed to be your internal resistance R small r it is denoted clear this small r 
can be drawn in within the cell or somewhere you will find in a diagram like either the small r is placed on this side or this side but along with this cell it means this cell is offering an extra re resistance to the entire network or entire circuit that is called an internal resistance got now <coughs> let us come to emf and terminal potential difference they are the two important factor here emf emf stands for emf stands for electromotive force electro motive force the meaning is the, the, the simple meaning actually it's not a force i will discuss it later emf is actually it is nothing but the the potential difference across the terminal potential difference across the terminal of a cell when no current flows in a circuit suppose you consider the circuit when this cell is used in an open circuit open circuit means you suppose disjoint disconnect this part it means the circuit now it is open here circuit means a one resistance connected across a cell if you don't join this then the circuit is open in that condition whatever be the potential difference across the terminal of a cell that is called your emf that is called your emf but once you join once you join this the current will start flowing means the cell itself will oppose the flow of current because of that reason the potential the the, the potential difference across the this two end let's say this end is a and this end is b my potential difference because uh, difference between a and b will be less than the electromotive force less than the emf in this case because emf electromotive force is the potential difference when no current is flowing means it is the actual energy of your cell when the means when the internal resistance comes into play means the source which is producing the energy is losing some energy because of its own resistance that now after losing whatever be the energy left that is called your terminal potential difference across ab means the potential difference across ab when the circuit is closed is called your terminal potential difference and it is denoted as v whereas the electromotive force is denoted by a symbol small e or epsilon somewhere will be written so but let me elaborate what is the meaning of your electromotive force <coughs> because uh, to to know the electromotive force you must to know the concept why how the cell is maintaining a constant potential difference in a circuit so let us understand the concept suppose these are the two electrodes of a cell positive electrode is having more number of positive charges negative electrode is having excess number of negative charges like electrons so when one cell is connected in a network of resistors or connected in a circuit what will happen one electron from here will starts flowing in the circuit see as there is a potential difference when you connect the terminal of a cell one electron will try to move from this point in this way and it will try to reach here got so means here the potential is positive if a means there will be an excess number of positive charge suppose here let's say for simplicity 15 e amount of charge is here so it means here let's say minus 15 e amount of negative charges will be here at the terminal 
So if one electron will go there, means here the charge will be minus 14e. Now if one electron will come here, it will neutralize one positive charge here. So the net charge will be 14e plus 14e. But if you see, as the charge is reducing on both the terminals, the potential difference will decrease because you see the difference because the potential difference depends on the concent the difference in the concentration of the charges here the difference is what 15 minus of minus 15 which is equal to 30 e means the charge difference is 30 e but now here the charge difference is 28 e but potential difference depends on what that this charge differences. So if the charge difference is more then the potential difference will be more and if the charge difference is less the potential difference will be less. But the job of this cell is to maintain a constant potential difference. So what means if if an electron is coming from end B and it is enter, entering to this end so it is neutralizing and the charge difference between the two electrodes it is reducing. So which means the potential difference is reducing. So in this case, what the cell is doing, what the cell is doing, you see, the cell is just sending, see, this electron is coming and reaching here. The cell, what it is doing, it is just giving an energy to the electron from this terminal, at this terminal, so that that electron will reach here. Try to find the second case. If electron will reach here and it simply stay here then the potential difference will reduce and as the charge separation reduces from 30 e to 28 e now what the cell is doing it just simply take the electron reaching here and it is placed and it is placing the electron at this point because of the internal electrolyte mechanism of the cell so what will happen as the electron will leave this point and again it is coming back this is the job of your electrolyte or this is the job of your cell so that the chemical reaction takes place because of that chemical reaction the electron from this positive terminal is reaching to the negative terminal so now what will happen if this end now you consider earlier it was 15 e now it is 14 e if one electron it losses means one positive charge it will gain so it will be again plus 15 e and that end as it is again accepting one electron so it will be again minus 15 e and the difference in charge now it is 30 e means whatever it is there earlier now the same value of the charge difference we got but this thing happens only because of this internal mechanism of this cell so it means it means simply the one example suppose you are standing on a first floor you are throwing one ball to your friend which is on the ground floor another friend that takes that ball through the staircase and it is again returning to you again you can throw the ball clear so what the emf is what the what what the emf role of a emf here the third friend of yours the same role of your third friend which is taking the ball from the friend which is standing on the ground floor and giving to you as you are standing on the first floor the same role is played by the emf it is simply taking the ball means the electron from the positive terminal and keeping it here got so that is the meaning of your emf so the its definition is actually elusive it is nothing but the definition of emf actually the the it is abbreviated EMF means electromotive force but it is actually not a force it is the energy it is the actual energy that is being produced by the what by the cell internal mechanism of the cell but so EMF literally in physics it is defined as it is the potential difference across the terminal of a cell when the cell is sending no current or zero current to the circuit or the cell is used in an open circuit means in this situation whatever be the potential difference here that is called your emf the terminal difference is what if you join this then whatever be the potential difference then that potential difference will be your terminal potential difference
So there is a simple equation in this case. Here, the, the cell itself is sending some charge to the entire circuit. It means it is sending the current. So this is the case of discharging of a cell. So in this case, in this case, if you want to relate EMF internal resistance and terminal potential difference, you are going to find you see here. Suppose the total energy generated by the cell is E. And you see the total energy is being used to overcome the energy of the external circuit and the energy of the internal circuit. In a layman's understanding, we can say. So if the total voltage developed is E here, now E is equal to what? The voltage across the external circuit plus the voltage developed because opposed means this voltage is used in two ways means if, uh, some voltage appears across the external circuit and some voltage appears because of the internal resistance or its own resistance of the cell which is your V dash. Now we can write here this is your EMF, this is your terminal potential difference and this is the potential difference inside the circuit. So E is equal to simply V plus this is what V dash, we know voltage is equal to current into resistance which is if I is the current flowing through that circuit and R is the internal resistance, so E is equal to V plus IR. So this is one equation relating EMF, terminal potential difference, internal resistance and the current flowing through the circuit. Also, it has another form. This V can be replaced in terms of your external resistance. Here R is what? R is the external resistance external resistance means it is external to the cell that's why it is external resistance small r refers to your internal resistance e refers to your emf of the cell v refers to your terminal potential difference tpd in short form tpd got and we know if I amount of current is flowing through this, so whatever be the potential difference across this external circuit, that is also called your terminal potential difference. So which way we can write here I into R plus I into small r. Got? So this is another equation too. Got? So this, this is the relation between your EMF, internal resistance, external resistance and the current in a circuit. Now sometimes people you will be asked to plot different graphs between uh, like uh, there are basically three graphs being asked from this concept. First graph you will be asked to plot between E and R. In the circuit what I have already given. So in that circuit plot a graph between E and R. E and external circuit. E and R if you need to, you need to plot a graph. <coughs> also just see though this equation is suggesting that E and R they are related like this but E is what? It is the EMF of a cell and R is external to it. So if you change the value of R, if you are going to change the value of R, this is not going to affect the value of your EMF. It is the property of the cell itself. It won't depend on any external factor like your external resistance. So means the simple logic is suggesting if you plot a graph between E and R, means EMF and resistance, so the graph is almost independent of R means with the increase in R or it means E is independent of R. The second graph it is asked to plot between <coughs> terminal potential difference terminal potential difference with the external resistance R. So that is one important point here. Terminal potential difference with the external resistance R, you need to plot this graph. 
So to plot this graph, you need to have one equation, mathematical equation, you need to plot this graph. So let, it, let me modify this equation so that we will find V and R. We know I is equal to V by R. So let us consider, uh, let us consider this equation 1. E is equal to V plus I R. V plus I into R. I is equal to V by R. So I is equal to V by R. So instead of this I, let us put V by capital R, capital R into R. Which implies E is equal to take V common out of it. So 1 plus small r by capital R. Which implies V is equal to E divided by 1 plus small r by capital R. So this is the relation between V and R here. Now let us analyze here. Suppose R is equal to 0. Suppose the value of resistance is starting from 0. If R is equal to 0, it means something by 0, it is infinite. Yes? So 1 plus infinity means it will be again infinite. And something by infinity means it is 0. So from that graph we can write here, means if, if R is equal to 0, then V is equal to E by 1 plus R by 0 so means E by infinity which is 0 so means when R 0 is equal to 0 now gradually if you increase the value of R means if you increase the value of R up to which point do you need to increase suppose the value of R increases up to infinite so when R tends to infinity means in that case V is equal to E by 1 plus R by infinite. Something by infinity means 0. So which is E by 1 plus 0, so which is equal to E. So these two points we got to plot this graph to show the variation between V and R. So if you plot this graph between V and R, you are going to get C here. This is your V. And this is your R. You know, the maximum value of your V is your E when the internal resistance is 0 from this equation. If suppose the cell is not opposing the current flowing through it, means a negligible internal resistance, then this part is not there. In that case, E will be your V, so which is that case. And you see here, when R is equal to 0, means this point then V is equal to 0 means the graph will start here and the maximum value of V will be your E so let us take a point here let us take a point here this point is representing V is equal to the EMF of the circuit and this line represents your V is equal to E line as the, the, the relation is suggesting R is equal to 0 V is equal to 0 and R is equal to infinite V is equal to E means the graph will increase in this way and it will touches that graph at infinity means it will be parallel to that line this line actually you can draw a line here this line corresponds to your V is equal to E so V versus R graph will represent you like this this is the step of your V versus R graph this can be actual exam and another set of graph you need to plot between you need to plot between your V and I terminal potential difference with the current you need to plot that graph again the third graph is your third graph it is V versus I you need to plot that graph so from this equation 1 you see there these are the two variables so we need to arrange our equations in that way that equation e is equal to V plus I R. So which implies, which implies I is equal to, your I is equal to E minus V by R. 
I is equal to E minus V by R or we can have here or your uh, that equation it implies your or that you can modify here like uh, that equation V is equal to E minus I R either you can use this equation or you use this equation rather than if you plot you know, want to plot a graph take V and I so that you can take i to be your x, v to be your y. Got? So if you plot a graph like this, you can find if you use this equation, v is equal to e minus i r, you'll find it is in the form y is equal to, or you can write, modify this equation, v is equal to minus i into r plus e. You see this equation, v and i the two variables here whereas r and e they are the constants for a given cell so this equation is in the form y is equal to mx plus c this equation is representing y is equal to mx plus c where m will be your minus of r and c is equal to e so according to this graph, this equation, if you plot a graph between i and v, means v you need to take in your y-axis and i you need to take in your x-axis, you are going to get v and i graph if you see when there is no current, means i is equal to 0, means v is equal to e. So means the graph will start at a particular point. So this represents V is equal to E again and if the value of I increases, I increases, value of V will gradually decrease because it is E minus I R. Got? And the equation would be a straight line as the, here the power of Y is 1, X is 1, so the graph will be a linear one. So the graph is suggesting, you like this and see one thing, when V is equal to 0, it means this two cancels means e minus i r would be zero when v is equal to zero so like to plot this graph we can say when i is equal to zero in that case v is equal to e is up or another point is one point and to plot the graph let us know the other point when v is equal to zero which implies minus i r plus e is equal to zero so in that case i is equal to e by r so let us take a point on the i here let's say i you take the value of i at this that point will be your emf by r now that we know as this equation is suggesting the graph will be in your straight line and the slope is negative and y intercept is positive so in that case so actually if you take these two points into consideration v is equal to e i is equal to e by r now if you simply join these two points they are the two extreme ends this is the point where i current the value of the current is e by r and this is the point where the uh, terminal potential difference equals your emf so this is the third graph between v and i students out of all these three graphs you will be asked to plot the graph or you need to explain uh, the graph on the basis of your mathematical equations. Thank you.